This video is a demonstration of refraction of light in air due to a temperature gradient. I was inspired by a video I saw where someone used liquid nitrogen to demonstrate that, and I'll link to that in the description. But I wanted a way that was easier to demonstrate with household materials. So I have here a laser pointer. It's pointed at the door. And I also have this clothes iron, electric clothes iron. Uh, it's been turned on for a while now, so it's at its maximum temperature. And so what happens is that light bends toward cold air. So the air right near the surface of the clothes iron is hot, of course, because the iron is hot. And then this room is at about 70 degrees. I've actually got a thermometer over there hanging on the door handle. Um, I don't know if the camera picks it up. Anyway, it reads about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So now, as I take the clothes iron and move it toward the laser light, the laser light bends away from the iron toward the colder air. And of course, obviously, if I block the laser light, then it doesn't go through at all. But just getting the, the iron near the light causes it to bend. And I can do that out here as well. Doesn't have to be right next to it. Let's see if I can get it nicely. Yeah, so there. And of course, this also works in the vertical direction. I can push, try to get it so that the iron is roughly parallel without blocking it. I'm having a hard time lining it up without being able to look at it, so it's, it's certainly easier for me visually to get it working nicely side to side, just because I can see exactly where the line of the, the laser is, but it, it certainly works in any direction. And so that's just the general phenomenon. The light is bending toward colder air. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the iron let it cool down, and then I'll repeat the experiment once it's re reached room temperature as a control. Okay, I've given it 20 minutes to cool off, and even then it was still a little bit warm, so I just used a little bit of water to finish it off, make sure it was completely cooled off. So it's, it's now, you know, seems to be room temperature, so we're gonna do the control experiment. And as expected, moving the, the iron next to the light does not push it to the side. The only thing that happens is when the iron actually starts to block the dot, then of course it gets distorted. And from above, yeah, it's, just, it's just blocking the light, not pushing it down at all. So. This is confirmation that it is, in fact, the temperature that was causing the light to bend, not the metal or magnets or anything like that. That's the end of this video.